I'm surprised you even knew that you could make like passive income at that time because I just, I, to me, it didn't occur to me that you could write content and then like put affiliate links in and get, yeah. you know, like the, the, I don't know. It just didn't cross my mind. It did reason. to me because when I bought the, the main thing on GLL, I never sold any like pickup courses or eBooks was bath made. It was a penis pop and it's one that actually works. I remember when I bought it at the time, it was from, uh, this other website and, um, I knew that the guy or the group that ran it like got commissions because yeah. they would thank me and they would be straightforward about it. And um, so I was like, huh, they make money and I guess they somehow keep track of it or whatever. So it was a great product. I introduced it to, I think I've sold, I'm probably, I'd be surprised if I wasn't over 30,000 penis pumps. Sold. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, it's it's been good. And that was like, good looking loser will be forever linked to the bath mate. Yeah, and um, yeah. it's kind of wild though. It's just like, yeah, penis pumps not gonna work. I'm gonna do anything. But when it, when someone actually uses it, as you know, you got you got yours from good looking loser. Yeah. It's like, what the hell is it? like? Holy, you know, it becomes yeah. like this new like lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. So um, it's like an extra workout routine, too. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, it's oh yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. It's good on the forearms too. Yeah. Um, not to mention the other areas, but. It, uh, huh. there was, um, GLL was good because I brought people game changers. I really, I really did for a period of time. And, um, but you know, we're still doing it today. I mean, I'm involved in uh gorilla mind, as you guys may know, Derek is the general manager of the company, potential future owner, but we'll have to see how that works. Uh -huh. Um, incredible supplement, just absolutely incredible. So uh, link in bio or in video description if this is this is YouTube. Yeah, so. Grill Mind's wild, man. I think it's um, it's uh, I introduced uh, Phenom to people, Kratom to people, Bathmate to people, and um, you know, Derek actually made this. I mean, I had some input on it, but this is mainly mainly Derek making it. And um, for something legal, it's like it's incredible. It's one yeah. of those supplements that maybe you would take like 15 years to go like, how, how is this legal? Like, this is incredible. Yeah. Although more stuff was legal back then. Right. But you take this today, you're like, whoa, this is like a throwback to, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 It's yeah. like back in the day, pre-workouts that were legit. Right. Almost. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, you're not, no actual real comparison can be made to pharmaceuticals, obviously. But just to say, I have a modafinil prescription that I legally have. Yeah. And I just so happen to barely use it now that I have Girl of Mine Rush, which is essentially just a culmination of everything I've used in, you know, university to stay on point. So the average dose here, I guess we suggest three capsules to tell you how, what a pussy I am these days. I'll take one and I'll be up for, I don't know, 20, 22 hours, which is an interesting one. topic in itself, how your sensitivity like increases as you get older. You're on to something about that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, um, something about like, uh, elimination time of caffeine and stimulants. And as you get older, it's like you have less of an ability to process it or something. I, I try to think is. back to my twenties and not just good looking loser, but before, yeah. okay. I'm 225 pounds. I don't know, 12 to 14% body fat, uh, generally on gear, at least half the year, yeah. um, on elevated thyroid hormones, sometimes <laughs> GH taking diuretics before I went out at night. And I think back and I'm like, how did I live that way? Because now if I just like, I don't know if, if my thyroid goes a little high cause I supplement mm -hmm. legally, you know, a thyroid hormone or if something that, um, you know, I raise the test level a little bit and I start getting like irritable and stuff like that. And it's just raising it like that much back then I would shoot a gram, like, you know, what the hell going in the gym, let's get a little pump now and shoot it. Yeah. And I, I, I think back and I was, I was like, I wasn't so irritable. Like I used to live this way, yeah. but I guess I just didn't notice it. Yeah. I don't know. I think, I, I think it's like a real like sensitivity thing though. I think you're right because yeah, 